All right, so my uh, one of my preferred ways to consume books is through audiobook, and I've run through a few in the last like two or three weeks, <sighs> and I have a few of my own books that are like completely done, edited, and everything. Just you know, working on the business things and setting stuff up. But one thing I am considering is audiobooks for my own, and I'm like, I'm, I've looked at the process and i've looked at some options and it just feels so overwhelming and it's so funny to me because i've been writing stories since i was a child i'm writing books now like there's all this advice about how to do every single thing that as it pertains to writing but audiobooks were never something that i even considered because when i grew up you had physical books you had the book fair you had all that and of course we had the audio books on tape but i had a huge library full of books and so now i'm looking like this feels so it, it to me and now considering an audio book for my own feels the way that I did when I was a kid in like writing stories and like 70 page notebooks and stuff based off of cartoons I watched and all that. And it's like, oh, this is wonderful. This is possible, but it feels so out of reach. And then all these years later, I've written countless books, but now I have that same like almost childhood wonder of like, oh my God, an audio book, getting a narrator to read your words. And I don't know, I just thought that was pretty funny that even all this time later, there's still some things that like revert me back to that childhood wonder, innocence, learn, crave, desire for learning type thing. So yeah, I'm um audiobook connoisseur and I'm now trying to figure out how to make my own books into audio. What we have built then, did we really build anything to begin with? I collected my luggage and made my way to the rental car station. While waiting on my keys, I took a long look out of the airport windows at the front of the building. I scanned the long-term parking area for the car that brought me here almost a year ago. I laughed to myself, there's no way that car was still sitting here after all this time. For a second, I imagined all the things that could have happened. Or maybe it was towed, did Miles come and pick it up, or did someone steal it? The attendant startled me. He handed me my keys, then I made my way out the door, in the car, and back down the road that brought me here in the first place. Being back here in Flint felt different. I was happy to breathe this air again, to feel the sun on my skin, but this time around, I felt like I was truly a visitor. Even though I was anxious, I felt a calm wash over me. Sure, I was here on a mission, but something about returning home, no matter how traumatic your exit is, 